Hello and welcome to another Hate Watchers Breakdown and Review. Today we're going over the ninth episode of House of the Dragon entitled The Green Council. Let's get right into the breakdown. Spoilers ahead. We open up on some spooky, dark shots of the throne room and the rest of the Red Keep as it's been prepared for Halloween. This little kid runs into the kitchen and tells one of the servants he needs to use the bathroom. King Viserys is dead, and Allison tells her dad his dying wish was for Aegon to be king and for his disease to go away, but you only get one dying wish. The small council is bored until they're told that the king has passed and Aegon will succeed him. Turns out the small council has been planning for this contingency without Allison's knowledge. Lord Beesbury isn't down for treason, and Sir Kristen Cole makes the old man eat his peas. Sir Harold doesn't like peas either, and he's willing to kill to defend his freedom from eating peas. Otto says to leave Beesbury's body there as a warning to other stubborn old men. Otto wants Rhaenyra and Daemon killed, and commands Sir Harold to go murder them. Sir Harold knows they'll make him eat peas soon too, so he leaves some laundry for Allison to do, and resigns his post. Otto commands Sir Eric of the Kingsguard to find Aegon and bring him to Otto and Otto alone. Rhaenys gets locked into her room, and everyone is getting herded into the gulags. Queen Allison tasks Cole with bringing Aegon to her and her alone. Aemond wants to join the search because three eyes are better than two. They walk the streets and knock on a brothel door where the madam says Aegon is gay. Otto says to take a knee if you don't have a foot fetish. This woman realizes she's in the wrong meeting, and they kindly escort her out. Laris Clubfoot takes careful notes on the results of this poll. Eric and Eric are searching the streets, and they wander into a children's fight club where they see one of Aegon's bastard children he had with an orangutan. John Malkovich tries to leave for lands where his foot fetish will be accepted. He gets grabbed and questioned by Otto and Laris, who tell him he should stick around as things may improve around here. King Viserys is going as a mummy this Halloween. Rhaenys figures out the king died, and Alicent is trying to take the throne. Alicent says she needs her dragon on their side, and Rhaenys throws it right back at her and says Alicent is letting the patriarchy keep her down. Cole and Aemond see Sir Eric and Otto meeting with Daemon's hooker. She's got the prince held hostage and wants Otto to remember who helped him in finding Aegon. Aegon loses a game of hide and seek, so he immediately switches to plain tag. Cole and Aemond intercept Aegon and the Eriks. Cole and Eric spar while Aemond considers killing his brother since he wants to be king instead. Otto is rolling a joint when his daughter comes in, angry that her dad tried to find Aegon for his own interests. Allison says she doesn't want to murder innocents, and she promotes Sir Cole. Laris Clubfoot tells Allison that he's opening a foot fetish brothel called Club Feet. Allison decides to interview for a job at the new club. The interview is going quite well. One of the Sir Erics comes to save Rainey's, and she sees John Malkovich hanging after he had an accident relating to autoerotic asphyxiation in Club Feet. Damon's hooker has a little cooking mishap. Eric and Rainey's get caught in a crowd. Turns out there's Black Friday sales deals so low even sheep couldn't resist them. Aegon knows him being picked as king is bullshit, and Alicent gives him the Dagger of Prophecy. Alicent says Aegon's half-sister Ray Ray should not be killed, and Aegon asks if she's taking him to the dentist. You imbecile. Rhaenys decides to take advantage of some deals while she's here. She accidentally ends up in the Sept of Baelor, where they're announcing the king's death and naming Aegon heir. A bunch of guards try and kill him, but they all just miss as he walks past them. Rhaenys goes to look for more Black Friday deals, and the priest cleans off Aegon's forehead. Cole puts the crown on Aegon's head, and he's proclaimed the true heir to the throne, and people reluctantly cheer. Aegon pumps his fist to the coronation music. Suddenly, there's an explosion, and it looks like Rhaenys scored a great deal on a new dragon, and she wants to show it off. The crowd scatters to go find deals of their own. Rhaenys knows she's looking fly, and her dragon Maylees is pumped too, screaming, Hell yeah, mofos! Rhaenys sideswipes a few people on the way out, and gets out of there before they catch her license plate, and the episode ends with a shot of Allison's face, twisted by jealousy that she didn't save big on a new dragon with 1.9% APR. We've reached that point in the video where we have to decide if this episode was a great watch or hate watch. Well, this episode just kind of fell flat for us, so this is going into the mid-range debate watch category. Maybe we're just coming down still from Viserys' powerhouse performance last week, but the slow, tense buildup just wasn't working in this episode. The show overall remains a great watch, and luckily I think we can say that there aren't any more pieces to be put in place before the Civil War pops off. 
We've been saying for a while, the pieces are set now, the pieces are set now, only to find out the next week had some more developments. Well, I think the creators have officially run out of pieces to move around the board, and there's just one path left for us, the Dance of the Dragons. It was somewhat cool to see Otto with the veil completely off and making power moves of his own accord. And it was good to see Rainies isn't going to be a pawn for either side in this conflict. And it looks like my prediction will come true, and the war's opening salvo will happen in the season finale next week. Speaking of the finale, remember to stay tuned to the channel for the episode 10 season finale breakdown and review, a complete season review afterward, and the funniest clips from season 1 of House of the Dragon. Thanks for making it this far into the video. Let us know in the comments below, did this episode help or hurt Team Green's claim to the throne? Do you think Otto's ambitions will put him in conflict with his daughter's desire for mercy? And for all them book readers out there, keep the spoilers to yourself. Please like the video if you liked it, and remember to subscribe for weekly episode reviews of this show and other current shows and movies. Thank you again, and we'll catch you on the next one.